Hello, welcome to Art Club. I'm Miss Liz, and today we're going to be painting airplanes. So here's a couple of samples that I made up ahead of time, so you can get an idea of how you want your airplane to look. And if you registered for this program, you will have already picked up your kit from the New Lenox Public Library. Let's see what's inside. Airplane pieces. There are six different colors of paint in these paint pots. Uh, some of us might have slightly different colors, but they're all going to be similar. And I try to give you a variety of colors so you'll have choices to paint your airplane. You're also going to find a paintbrush, some stickers, and uh, the stickers that I have with me today are some star stickers, which look really good on an airplane. Some things that you might need from home are a cup of water so that you can clean your brushes in between colors, some paper towels, and also maybe some newspaper or something that you can put on your work surface so you don't get your uh, table all full of paint. So let's go ahead and get started. Something I discovered when I created the samples, I actually painted the pieces and then put it together but it seemed a little hard for me to slide the wings into place once I had the paint on. I'm not exactly sure if, if that was the problem, but we're gonna put our airplanes together first and then paint. So go ahead, grab your kit, open it up, and take out the pieces. So the first thing we're going to do is put the wings in there's a little slit in each piece and you're just going to slide that in. You're going to take your time. Some are going to go right on and some are going to be a little difficult. So just take your time and when you're, when you're pressing that in, hold it um, close to where you're sliding in your wing just so you don't break your piece of, uh, of wood. So it looks to me like I have it pretty much centered. And then I'll take the back ones and we're gonna just slide this piece right in here till it's flush on the end. So don't leave it sticking out. Just make sure you push it all the way in. All right, now that our airplanes are put together, we want to think about what colors we would like our airplanes to be. Do you want it one solid color? Or maybe you want some stripes on there similar to these stripes. Maybe you would like to put um, a pattern on there that looks like a checkerboard. Uh, if you're not feeling inspired and you're not sure what you want your airplane to look like, uh, maybe you have a book at home that has airplanes in it and you can look at that for inspiration or you can ask a grown-up to help you search online and find some samples. So I'll show you these one more time. I've got stripes, diagonal stripes here. Did like a little rectangle, outlined it with red and put a red sticker in the middle. You can paint different uh, noses of the plane you can see that they look a little bit different and i used the white paint which everybody has white paint i use that as the windows so this airplane has a great big window in the front and this one just has a little one in the cockpit all right okay i think i'm going to paint my airplane using the red and blue now remember as you start painting it's going to soak into the wood, so you might want to add another layer or two of paint. So go ahead, paint your airplane um, just with your main colors. Don't worry about adding any of the extra stuff for now. Just do your main colors and then let it sit for a few minutes to dry. And then you can decide if you need an extra coat. So I'm going to put red on the body of my plane. So if you are doing two different colors, 
Just take your time when you get by the wing, if you're going to go with a different color. And it's easy to just bring your paintbrush right up along there and paint next to it. If you get some paint in a spot where you're not sure that you want it at, just let it dry and then you can go back over it later. So I am going to paint the nose, the front of the airplane with the red as well. And then I'll come back later if I want to use the white to make a big window or a little window. But as long as that red is dry, it's going to be fine to paint that white on there. Oops. See, I did get a little bit of red on my wing, but I'm just going to let it dry and I'll be able to paint right over it later. Don't forget to paint along here, along these edges, because you will be able to see once it's dry that, that you missed that spot. So make sure you paint that section. I'm going to go along and I'm going to go along the edges and cover that. You just need a little bit on your brush. Sometimes when you're painting the edges, if you get too much on there, it drips off onto the side. Just go ahead and give it a little brush stroke and blend it in. Alright, now I'm going to start with another color. Don't forget to clean your brush in between. I'm going to use the blue. I do notice right away with the blue that it gives a little bit better coverage than the red. So I might have to go back and do a second coat of red, but I might not have to with the blue. We'll have to see. The blue does look nice. And I'm just going to go ahead and do my edges of the wings right now. to go ahead and do the other side of the wings so I can use this back one as a way to hold it. And then hopefully by the time I'm done, the red will be completely dry and I can hold the airplane that way. Feels like the red is dry, so I'm just going to hold on there, balance it on my table, and finish up these last little wings on the back. Now I'm going to let this sit for a little bit and go back and add another coat of red because my red definitely needs a little bit more. Alright, I did repaint the red. It does still look a little bit streaky, 
but I think it's going to look just fine. So now let's talk about how we want to decorate. Do you want to add stripes? How about circles? This one has a circle with a star in the middle. How do you want your um, windows to look? The front end of your plane. So start thinking about that and then go ahead and start applying those decorations. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put my windows on. Let's see, well, my red's not quite dry enough, so I think I'll skip that. And I will add on some, um, let's see, I don't know. I'm gonna add orange on here. If I can open my paint pot, there we go. And I'm going to add a circle right here on the wing. I'm going to do my best to make it a circle shape. Alright, I'm going to let that dry and I'm going to go ahead and keep Using this orange accent, I am going to add a, a stripe along the back here. And if you do it, you get enough paint on there and you just kind of go real fast. It looks, it looks pretty good. I'll probably have to add another layer on there. We'll see. All right. Now I think I'm going to add my windows. And hope that the red is dry enough. I'm going to have a nice big window. In the front. There we go. Now I'll do the other side. do the, the edge here. There we go. And I'm just going to add three windows along here. side. And I just kind of straighten them out a little bit by going the other direction. They don't have to be perfect. I've got a little bit extra paint on here. Let's see if I can spread that out a little bit. There we go. All right, it's slowly drying. I'm going to come back and add a little bit more orange on my circles. And my stripes down the back. Whoop. So I got it a little carried away with my stripe over here, so I'm just going to make it a little thicker. There. 
That looks pretty good. How's yours coming along? Mine looks pretty dry. I'm happy with the way it looks. I'm going to go ahead and add some of these stars. I'm going to add several. I like the shiny star on here. Maybe some on the back wings. Thank you for joining me today. Here is my sample. It's a little bit uh, plainer than the other two that I showed you at the beginning of the video. Uh, we all have different tastes, so I just wanted to make sure that you saw three different styles of creating your airplane. If you would like to share yours with me, please email it to youth at newlenoxlibrary.org or you can post it in the Facebook post with this video. Thanks for joining me again and I'll see you soon at the library.